and uh, got a shot right on. And if we're doing that, I'm going to say hi to Starla Robinson. And that, of course, is Carter's mom. I don't know, Starla, whether you know it, but we got your son singing up on the web. <laughs> I'll tell you how you can watch it in a minute. Ducks in behind the net, now it comes back out. Line. Storm trying to get it out, they cannot. Keeping it in is Reiner Glimple. And goes down in behind the net. Coyotes have had the puck constantly down at this Kamloop zone. Scores right out in front of the roofer, and the Coyotes grab the early lead. Three minutes in. Flashing is the call. Johnson, yeah, they're all digging behind the net. Glimple getting the puck back to the line. Back to Glimple. He cutting around, buzzing in. Come right up front. Score! Boy, that looked like Tavin Grant was expecting a pass out front, and I think. I think the Coyotes, Braden Tuck, was able to just kind of whip it in from behind the net there. It was all of a sudden the red light was on. That's a power play goal that comes at 8.57. Four and a half seconds left, 2 nothing. Coyotes in the lead. They roll the puck towards the net. They get it out in front. Scores! And it was in before the uh, the goal light went on. There's no doubt about that. And it be the end of the period as well. But there's no doubt you could, when the puck was in the net, the red light was on. I looked up, and we still had point one tenth of a second on the scoreboard. He got. 37 seconds left to go on the power play. And here they come. Lots of room on that left side. They call him Bell, then he plays it over the right side. And a shot, score! Whoa! Levi Morin came in from the right side and he just caught the post. And into the corner of the net, the Coyotes go up 4 nothing. Jackson Glimple dumping it off. Tuck looks. Here's the one-timer. Big glove save in there, but the rebound was Coyotes got. As Grant got it, knocked it down, couldn't control it. Comes back to Tuck again, down in deep, right out in front of the shot. Another one, scores! Reiner Glimple will get an assist on that one. Coyotes with a power play goal. Ryan Morrell coming in from the blue line. And the Coyotes are in control of this one, leading five to nothing. Again, the Coyotes with a two-man advantage. Game has really slowed down their crawl here. Now the puck comes back right from the draw. Coyotes control it. Stone has it. Two-man advantage for a minute and eight seconds still to go. Right out in front, one timer, pop, score! Morrell breaks his stick and the pop hits up, the pop in the net. I think it'll be Morrell's goal. He shot it and his stick snapped in two. Now Anderson coming in, or Andrusiak rather, with a shot, score! Put it underneath Souls. And there goes the shutout for Souls. And Druziak getting that one. And it comes at 13.50. Tuck in behind the net. Coyotes get it. Right back to game. One timer score! Stone! His 11th goal of the year. Hamlet Storm. The announcement. 15 seconds to go. Here's a two on one. And they score with four seconds remaining. 
Kamloops coming down and will get the goal. And there's the buzzer. The Coyotes win it, 7-2. The third star from the Arsulius Coyotes, number 22, Ryan Morrell. The second star from the Arsulius Coyotes, number 14, Ryan Lindahl. And the first star from the Arsulius Coyotes, number 7, Braden Todd. Well, there we have it.